welcome class 7 in this video we will start from system infectors of the chapter computer virus there are four types of system infectors they are boot sector virus program virus macro virus stealth virus first we will discuss the topic boot sector virus let's start while loading an operating system the boot sector plays an important role in the system but some types of viruses affect the boot sector or master boot record MBR of the hard disk during the process of booting known as the boot sector virus. It means that the system is running with an infected hard disk which further starts infecting the storage stored data. So what does it mean? It means that the booting sector of a hard disk play an important role while starting our computer. There are different computer programs or computer viruses that affects the booting sector of the hard disk. Once they entered into the computer, they start infecting your machine's hard disk and slowly infect the stored data also. So, system couldn't load operating system properly and the system may come to a halt. This type of viruses are known as boot sector virus. Examples are Danish boot, QOX, PC stone, etc. Next, program virus. These viruses directly attack the program files of the system with an extension as .exe, .sys, .com, .dll, etc. Once the program files are infected with these viruses, they start showing unusual behavior. Since these viruses does not affect the boot sector, the system stay uninfected. When the relevant task related to the program file is performed, it starts showing its destructive behavior and the, and the system fail to perform any task directly. What does it mean? It means that program viruses are those viruses that affects the program files with the extension as .exe dot sys dot com dot dln these are all very important program files once this type of files gets into your system they starts infecting the above mentioned program files after that when we start performing uh, some relevant task related to that program file it starts showing the destructive behavior uh, and we will not get the required result. Some examples are Sunday, Cascade, etc. Next, Macrovirus. Macrovirus. These type of viruses attack the data files of the system. Whenever the user wants to work on any application package related to data files, he or she find that either the file is destroyed or it contains some absurd data. Thus, the user is unable to perform any task on those data files. These viruses can easily spread from one computer to another through internet. So, this type of viruses attacks the data files. Means, file related to MS Word MS Excel, MS Access, etc. Once this type of virus gets into your system, this starts infecting data files and the user find that either the file is destroyed or it contains some absurd data. And when the user wants to use this type of data files, he or she finds that the file is destroyed or 
it contains some unusual data and the user is unable to perform his or her relevant task. One more characteristic of this type of viruses is it can spread easily through internet. Examples are bloodhound, Melissa. Next, stealth virus. These viruses keep on changing their codes within the system. So it is difficult to trace the existence of the viruses through scanning program. Means these type of viruses can change their code. So when we scan full system through antivirus software, it cannot be traced. It is difficult to stress the existence of this type of viruses. The other characteristic is sometimes they can hide the increased size of the file due to the virus infection. So the infected file is seen to be uninfected during scanning and hence antivirus couldn't press this type of files and hence Antivirus is unable to trust this type of files. The examples are Frodo, Brain, etc. Now, here is a knowledge corner. Macrophytus. This type of virus infect Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access and other data files. Once infected, repairing of these files is very much difficult. It means that we have already learned that macrovirus can infect data files like Word, Excel, PowerPoint access files. If they start infecting, it cannot be repaired. It is very difficult to repair that infected files. So we have to be aware of it. Next, protection against virus. What are the steps to be followed? To protect against virus. It is always advised to take precautionary measure to protect your system from the virus attack. You can protect your system against the viruses by following these measures. What are the measures or what are the steps? Avoid using pirated CD DVD to install any software in your system. So we have to avoid uh, pirated CDs and DVDs to install softwares. Next, if you are using a pen drive to transfer data to your system, make sure that the drive is free from virus. First, we have to scan the pen drive and then we will use it. Next. If your system is connected to a LAN connection, keep a check on the users to avoid the misuse of the system. If our system is connected to LAN connection, then we have to check regularly that whether uh, the users uh, are misusing the system or not. Next. Don't browse unwanted websites. Means don't browse uh, unusual websites. Install antivirus software in your system. We have to install antivirus software in our system. Keep our antivirus software updated. We have to update our antivirus regularly. Next, if you are using any external storage media to transfer data, Scan the disk properly with antivirus software. Means first scan the disk, then use it. Okay, to avoid virus effect. Next, avoid reading unwanted emails while working with an email account. Means don't open unwanted emails or emails come from unknown person. It may contain virus. Next, always keep a backup copy of your program or data files. Always keep backup copy of the important files. So these are all protections against viruses.
that's all in this video in the next video we will start from antivirus bye